Reference. Yes, I'm calling for Sheriff Patchy. Is he available? Uh, no, sir, not at this time, but I can take a message. Are you recording this? If not, please do. Uh, well, we always take, um, I can still take a message whether it's being recorded. No, I, I want it to be recorded. Because I'm going, okay. I'm... I'm laying my life down on the line, my dear. Okay. And I'm reporting things that are going to arrest those that are very high up in society that were elected officials. Okay. Okay, you got that? You, you say, who is, what is your name, please? Oh, my name is Natasha, sir. Natasha. Natasha what? Well, I don't want to send out an FOIA to the sheriff to have him bring forth this information when he can do this and become a hero. And I just I need your you. name because I could go ahead and ask for an FOIA on your name at this time that I'm calling you, and it would have to be reported to me. So it's, and I am recording this. Of course, I can't hear your name, so I'm saying it to those that can hear your name when I do post yes, this. Sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Let me put you on hold for a second, okay? Hey, you put me on hold for a second. I'm on hold for a second. They got dingly music on. They haven't even asked my name yet. Ding, 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 This is upbeat music for Texas, I'll tell you. And this is a call to the Killhan County Sheriff Department. Hello? Hello. Yes, Chad? Yes, sir. What's your last name, please? Campbell, just like the flute. Campbell, just like the flute. And your badge number? 101. That's it? That's it. Okay. Would Sheriff Bahatchee be around? He's not. Okay. Well, are you recording this? Everything we do is recorded. Okay. That's wonderful. Do you know who Alien I Hawkins is? Okay. Well, because you don't know who I am, what I want to do is help the sheriff to bring down many known criminals that are conspirators. Are you listening? I am. Okay. They are conspirators. Many conspirators. Now, I posted this already, and Saint the Devil, she don't like me too much, you know, because I've got about like six views on there since... Uh, a couple days ago, but it's under Alienai Hawkins, A L hyphen or dash Y A H N A I, then Hawkins, H A W K I N S, on YouTube. I posted a video for the sheriff to look at and in the pinned comments I have listed many okay criminal conspirators felonists known felonists that even Ted Cruz has tried to cover up Well, I understand why, because the FBI don't want me to tell you this information. I have contacted them. If you have an email I can send you, I can show you over 80 different governmental and uh, law enforcement, judicial, and news agencies that I sent out these complaints, not complaints, I'm not no French 
whore that has a problem with anybody. I'm sending you claims, claims that these things took place, and I sent it out to over 80 governmental, over 80 governmental law enforcement, judicial, and news agencies, and not one single human response came back from what took place. For instance, my friend, have you heard, and you can look into your computer right there in front of you right now, 94, right there in front of you, 9486 County Road 254 Clyde, Texas 79510. Now you go back to the dates of around August 25th until around uh, September 15th, you'll see there was a fire, maybe, because it was quite covered up. Okay, well, I was held captive for 44 days, starved, not given any food I could eat. 44 days used the taxpayer dollars to kidnap me and hold me in a prison cell, not only from Callahan County where they transferred me in my underwear. I didn't even get sandals or nothing. I was transferred in my underwear to Shackleford County, okay? And they held me there. I asked for medical assistance, took over 10 days to get me some. And they said I needed to go get, in, you know, to the e uh, emergency room immediately. And the jailer, of course, under orders from what was taking place, refused when were, when were you incarcerated? oh I was incarcerated on like August 25th 2016 it wasn't I wasn't incarcerated I was kidnapped you will not find a paper sir that's signed by me to allow any of my captors to warehouse me for any time whatsoever and now this is the glitcher this is the important part. You've got Stephen Odom. He is a judicial, a, he's a uh, 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 justice of the peace, precinct three. His jurisdiction goes up to a class C traffic misdemeanor, non jailable now. He can't put nobody in jail, he has no authority. To put anyone in jail, okay? But you look at that date, August 25. You'll see there was a, an arrest warrant that was issued before that date. But it was carried out. Huh? What was the charge? Oh, it was for a uh, retaliation third degree felony. And he only has a Class C misdemeanor traffic violation, non-jailable. That's inaccurate. It's inaccurate? Well, tell me how. You can also go up to $10,000 in a civil controversy. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I can't hear you much. Um, I'm not, I don't hear too well. And I'm on a, a cell phone that I hate. I de and you can do a, a test on how many phone calls I make a year. And if I make five, it's a miracle. Unless there's been problems. For what offenses? For a JP, uh, the, we're talking the third... I'm sorry, I'm not trying to talk over you. I'm just trying to explain that the third precinct, he only has jurisdiction up to a third or a class C misdemeanor traffic 
violation, non-jailable. Where does he show in his jurisdiction he has any sort of thing for a retaliation or, you know, uh, you know, third degree felony? Where does he have that jurisdiction? I'm sorry. No, you explain that jurisdiction to me because <laughs> he doesn't have a jurisdiction for a felony. Well, the problem was, wait, 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 hold on. I, I don't want to talk over you, but the problem was at the time, the district judge, John Weeks, who's now retired, I billed him for over a million dollars for contempt of his own court. You still there? Yep, I'm here. Oh. Okay, well, John Weeks, I billed the man. I did not bill the judge. I billed the man a negotiable. Negotiable. Which means, without any court ever hearing this, it was supposed to be tried to be settled between the parties. I am Alien I Hawkins. You could put a fountain in there. Alien I Fountain Hawkins. My house, my church, and my vehicle were burned up between the dates of August 25th and whenever I was released. 44 days later, I was starved. I had no solid food. They gave me nothing to eat. They kidnapped me without any charge. They did not bring out any sort of uh, judgment before or anything else. What occurred is I judged, I had charged, I billed John Weeks, the man, for over a million dollars. And why did I do that, my friend? Because back in 1987, a man named Richard Sullivan put my six-month-old Rottweiler into my home. And he took around six to seven gallons of kerosene that I just bought. Bought it. Put it, in the, put it in the jug. Put it in the house. I went off to choir practice with my wife. Richard Sullivan went there and took my dog. Put her in the house douse the house with that six or seven gallons of kerosene and he lit a match. Hey, what was that at? That was at 700 Virgil Street, Abilene, Texas. Now, you'll see there's a lawsuit that was filed under 600 Virgil Street, the wrong ad. Now, please tell. I'm telling you, I'm not yelling or anything. I'm trying to tell you something that Sheriff Pahatchi can become a hero for. He could be one of the greatest guys in American history to take back jurisdiction, to take back justice, and bring forth justice. To those who've been robbed. You know, I had to flee Texas, man. I had to flee Texas back in 2016. It was, well, it was probably 2017 when I actually fled. But that was because after I was rescued by my king, the king of kings and ruler of rulers, I was rescued by on the 44th day. I They kidnapped me. I weighed about 207 pounds. When I got out, I weighed about 165. All right? 
Over the first three or four days I was in there, they put me into this place where there's a big window. They took me from your court, your uh, jailhouse there. They stripped me down. I, I didn't even remove my clothes. I had, there was a uh, uh, city uh, cop or whatever that took off my clothes down to my underwear. He left my underwear and my socks and my t-shirt on and they transported me from your county to Shackleford County in my underwear. <laughs> they didn't even give me sandals. <laughs> and in my wallet, I had almost $500. And they stopped on the way there to Shackleford County Jail. And they stopped and took money out of my wallet. <laughs> now, the funny thing is, according to the Constitution, you're, you know, and the Bill of Rights and all that, you're supposed to, you know, write down the things that you confiscate, the things that you seize. Whether lawfully or unlawfully, you're supposed to write down something of what you seized, are you not? Yes. Okay, so you look at August 25th, 2016, and you show me where my wallet, my baggie, because I, I, I really didn't use wallets, I used a baggie, you know, and I had my inheritance, $500 from my mom and my dad, man. <laughs> I had my wallet. I had almost $5,000 left in my house that they burned up. And I've got an email that says the reason they burned it up was because the evidence I had in my house. <laughs> I mean, I'm in jail there with a judge that made an arrest warrant for $3,000 bond because your Shane Deal, who is, at the time he signed, you know, his statement against me for the over million dollar contract I made with John Weeks, Shane Deal says that contracts are nonsense in the arrest warrant that he got Steve Odom to sign off on that only has jurisdiction up to a Class C misdemeanor. Now, if, if I have a lawful bond on me, but I didn't have a lawful bond on me. Well, don't let me stop. You've got the recording going, right? I'm going to reveal some things. My friend, are you an American citizen? Absolutely. Did you sign yourself some sort of thing saying that you did some kind of uh, oath of office? You did an oath of office? Yes, I do have an oath of office. I, I, I raised my right hand and, and swore to uphold the laws of the state and the U.S. Constitution. So go ahead. Keep going. Then, because you did this, my friend, whether your sheriff, the, you know, desires to react or not, 
the information I've given you already, you should act upon. Whether you're a deputy or whatever, my friend, I've been doing this since this fellow, Richard Sullivan is his name. He put my dog into my home in 2017 and he burned, but it stems because you've got John Weeks that is, listen, hold on, wait, I no <laughs> okay we've got that going on he wants to go jurisdiction crap yes i was talking to somebody else they hung up on me because i mentioned jurisdiction of abilene but the problem is with taylor county it stems with a judge that is John Weeks that has jurisdiction over Taylor, Callahan, and Coleman counties. And your deputy hung up on me. He gave me his name. I spoke it earlier on this video I'm doing. I can't hear you speak on the phone, my dear, because it just don't do so well. Uh, but... I need to talk to somebody to speak about commission felonies that were taking place. We're talking a federal hate crime where there was a church, a domicile, and a vehicle burned up. And the person that set the fire was seen and known very well in the area. But guess what? The fire never made even the newspapers. It never made the news because it was covered up because I was supposed to have been killed. I was supposed to have been taken out in a body bag before anything about the fire was even known. Why did that fellow hang up on me when I was wanting to tell him these things? Don't he know he's subject to Title 18 of the USC, the United States Code, Title 18, Section 4? You know, it talks about felony, Miss Prison. I'm explaining felonies that are taking place by your people. You ain't even involved yet, but you can be. I want to make y'all heroes. I want to make y'all make America great by taking back. Pardon? I, I understand, but I can't speak for him. But I would like to know what someone know, and that way they can call you and speak with you when they have a moment, okay? No, I'd like to talk to Sheriff. Pahatchee there, or somebody that has, listen, I've had deputies steal over $500 out of my wallet, okay, and the wallet was not even Sir, with, I need you not to yell at me. no, I'm not yelling, I, my father was deaf, and I speak loud naturally, because uh, you, uh, when he was wanting something, was like, pass some potatoes! Uh, well, sir, yeah. sir, I need you to listen to me, okay? Sure. Right now, the sheriff is busy. He is in a meeting, so I cannot pull him out of that. So, as I stated, when he gets out of that meeting, I will give him this message and your number, and I will get him to call you when he has Absolutely. Time. Now, now it will be recorded. Time. It'll be recorded, right? Because I'm going, I don't want to ask for an FOIA. I don't want to do that because if I do, my dear, I will incriminate, you know, probably even, you know, the sheriff. And I don't want to do that. And I, I could probably incriminate all of you, but I want the sheriff to be a hero. I want him to take over Callahan County from these tyrants 
that have been running it for so long and deliver it into the righteous hands it's supposed to be in. Yes, sir, but as I say, that's all I can do at this time, so I am going to have to let you go so that I can continue focusing on my other tasks that I need to at this time, okay? Absolutely. So call me back as soon as I'll be waiting here. How long do you yes, think sir. it'll be? Unfortunately, I don't know because I don't know the circumstances of uh, his schedule today. Well, I'll be here until about midnight. So okay. whatever his schedule is, you tell him to call me. You got my number? What's my number? Your number is going to be 3251. That is correct. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.